Hello there. So today I am talking about an aspect that I've seen to work quite well, uh, an aspect of marketing uh, for freelancers out there, for all types of freelancers. Actually, I think pretty much any type of you know entrepreneur, someone out there, pretty much anyone out there. Um, and and uh, let's say this is an approach to marketing that I feel can work quite well. And I've seen it work quite well, you know, definitely with freelancing and in this line of work. And well, let's put it like this. If you, you're just starting out as a freelancer, so you are, you know, you're a newbie, a new entrant, and you're starting right now. And so, and you're kind of testing the waters, right? So you, how would you classify yourself? You classify yourself as a, you know, maybe a wannabe freelancer, wannabe part-time freelancer, something like that. And then think to yourself, well, what's a step up from that? A step up from that will probably be an established freelancer right? And, uh, you know, who's doing what they do for a living. And then think to yourself, okay, what's a step up from that? Maybe a step up from that is, uh, I don't know, more than establish a successful freelancer who doesn't need to chase business, but has business come to them. And uh, I don't know, then what's a step up from that? Maybe someone running their own agency. And then, you know, you have step up, step up, step up, etc. until you get to, I don't know, you know, Google or Microsoft or something like that. Anyway, don't worry about the way up top stuff now, but I want to talk more about, you know, wherever you see yourself on that ladder there and, and think to yourself where you are on that ladder, how you see yourself in that position, and then ask yourself, what is the next level up? You know, the next step up from where I am right now. So if you're new entry, if you're a new entrant into the market, you just started freelancing and you're kind of sort of testing the waters and a, a one step up would be a six, you know, or, or an established uh, freelancer, right? You know, someone who's doing this for a living. Likewise, if you are already an established freelancer, a step up might be one of those successful ones that doesn't need to chase businesses, but has, you know, has business come to them, has, has clients come to them or, you know, anyway, wherever you see yourself along those lines and wherever you see one level up. And from now on, I want you to, every time you talk to clients, to prospective clients, or anytime you, you know, you show yourself out there on social media, your websites, your, you know, social media pages, your emails that get sent out, any correspondence, anything like that, I want you to act as if you are in the next level up. And I've seen this work quite well. What do I mean by this? I mean that if you are, say you're just entering now, you're kind of testing the waters, you're thinking of becoming a freelance translator, don't act like that. And that's why, frankly, my course, I, you know, I, I specify just even when you're just starting, you know, as one of the first things you should do is part of this pregame section, I call it, is to make your own website because it shows that you're established. You have a bio and you've already signed up, you know, for all the main translator, uh, you know, websites that are out there. And then you also have your own website. Then you look like you're already established. And this is, if you're just entering now, there's definitely one level up from what you are, but it definitely helps because it makes people see you as a lot more professional, a lot more invested in the business and a lot more, you know, established in the business than you might feel you are yourself at this point. And it always helps to do this, to see where you are right now and to try to see what it is to be one level higher than you are. And if you can exude this, if you can show that this other level is your actual level, people will start treating you like that. And before you know it, you will be at that other level. And, and you see, it, I mean, if you work in an office, if you work as an employee, you've probably heard the, the expression, what is it? Don't dress for the job you have, but dress for the job you want to have or something like that. You know, and the idea there is to dress and sort of act and, you know, comport yourself like your boss, say, or, you know, someone a bit higher, because then you'll start getting treated that way. There's another expression called act as if, and you know, that's more or less the same thing. And that's what I'm saying here. No matter what level you see yourself at right now, try to aim one level higher and everything you do, you should be at that one level higher and just keep doing it that way. Because before you know it, you suddenly will be at that one level higher. And at that point you can start, you know, trying to be one level higher than that and, and so on and so forth. But however, try to think of it, you know, in an exaggerated way. Say you're just starting out now. You're like, well, what, instead of being just one level higher, why don't I try to be two levels higher or three levels higher, or way, way, way higher and try to be like Google or Microsoft or even an established, I don't know, translation agency, right? And you want to say, you want to 
you want to tell yourself, no, I want to be like an established translation agency. That way people think I'm very successful and that's where I want to be. First of all, it's going to cost you a whole lot because suddenly you need to make a, a very elaborate website instead of the free versions that I talk about in my course and stuff, because then you need to make a real website and then you need to uh, be able to back it up because if you're an agency, suddenly you're probably dealing with various different languages or various different specialties or stuff like that, which you probably can't back up if you're just starting out right now. And, uh, and, and it'll totally backfire on you. It'll cost way too much and it'll totally backfire on you. So you don't want to do that. And that's why I say just one level up. Depending on where you are, maybe you can try to risk two levels up, but it needs to be a level at which you can deliver. And if it's one level up, trust me, you can deliver. It'll push you, it'll push your boundaries, it'll get you out of your comfort zone, but you will be able to deliver one level up. And that's where you should be. And look, if it turns out you can't deliver, then maybe you shouldn't be doing that. Or maybe you should stay at your level, or maybe you should be pursuing something else. I don't know what it is. Or maybe you should be working on something so you can perform at that level. But that's why also you don't want to shoot for too high right away. Always shoot for one level above, maybe two, depending on what your situation is and how you feel about it. But one level above is a good strategy. And I find in all types of business to do this, it, it works well because then you can, people see you that way, they start treating you that way. And as long as you can deliver, then you're golden and it works out well. So try this or try to uh, revamp your uh, profile, your social media profile, your profile on these translation websites and stuff like that and push it up a, a notch and then see how that works out for you. And, and definitely let me know uh, if it does. I'd love to hear about what works out and what doesn't and everything along those lines. So, and let me know if you like this video as well and if you found it useful. So click thumbs up if you do find it useful. That way I can keep track of what works and what doesn't. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. You click the subscribe button, then you click that little bell next to it and you get a notification every time there's a new video out. Once again, these are videos that deal with freelance translation, freelancing in general, entrepreneurship, stuff like that. I try to help out with all that stuff wherever I can. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.